everyone, my name is James Games and welcome back to another TCM video. So TCM has gotten quite a few patch notes in the last two weeks. The most notable one being yesterday where PC was finally integrated back into the crossplay pool. And on top of that, they have also nerfed the agitator perk, which in case you don't know what this perk does, it basically destroyed grandpa and any progress you made on him. But now that they nerfed agitator, it's a lot more valuable to feed grandpa, which from what I've been noticing in a couple games I've been playing, it has been much better. I used to never really feed grandpa, gonna be honest, I played more aggressively, just my play style. So I've implemented that into my sissy gameplay which we're going to be going over a build that I've been using for the past couple of days and had some decent uh, value out of it. I've been really enjoying it. It's kind of a fun play style. We are going to hop right into the video, but as always, thank you so much for watching. All right, so let's just quickly show you the build. There you go. Be sure to copy that if you like. I'm using Universal Donor where I get 40% more blood from blood buckets. You get a lot of value from that because at the start of the match, I'm usually poisoning things like health bottles mostly because uh, if, our team, if my team puts up enough pressure and does a lot of damage, uh, survivors are going to want victims, excuse me, are going to want to use these uh, health tonics or whatever you want to call them. So me being able to poison them while also collecting blood to help grandpa, that's two birds with one stone. As well as scout. Scout is literally probably the best perk in the game. Just my opinion. I run it on a lot of characters. You just can't sleep on it, man. And last but not least, we're going to be using unrelenting so we can get some extra points into our endurance because endurance is really important with sissy and you'll see why in a minute all right so those are the perks i'm also going to show you the bane how i level it up i do this i've been using this recently increase the amount of time the victim is affected by poison by 12 seconds this one does 13.5 so it is one second extra but i don't really seem to get that much value out of it uh so i just use this the next one we're going to be using is increase poison cloud duration to 55 seconds it's usually 50 seconds i think here but I want my clouds to last as long as possible because I do put the poison on doors and stuff and me having a minute of safety allowing me to go do other things and make sure that if someone steps in the cloud, I'll know about it. This is just great value because that's my play style. I normally don't trap things like the fuse box or valves because I really don't think they really do much to the uh, characters, to be honest. I'll only poison the uh, health bottles because if they grab it and use it, it's pretty much not going to heal them and they're going to lose health from it so and last but not least we are going to be using the toxic cloud the poison seeps into the victim's wounds causing them to lose health for a short period of time basically damage per second this is a really great one i really don't see any value in these other two where you can poison electronics or pick up locations i mean you can probably get value out of that but i'm not running around and poisoning bone shard bone shard piles you know what i mean i just think that's a waste of time and you, i don't think you would really get much value out of that uh for the grandpa perk you get a decent selection if you follow the route i did i use excited grandpa because i can get grandpa up pretty quickly with this build and it's only going to get better once i get my uh once i get my unrelenting up to seven which means i can put extra points into blood harvesting so I use Excited Grandpa because once you get tier 5, it's basically Grandpa constantly pinging the location of the victims, which is really great. Can't sleep on that. You can use anything you want. I use Excited Grandpa. For attribute points, I put... I pretty much max out my endurance with the help of unrelenting. Once I get this to tier 7, you obviously take the spare points out because they do not stack. I have heard a lot of people saying things like, if you put like Savagery on... Like, like like Leatherface, if you use Feral 7 and then you, you max out Savagery to 50, you get like 57. You don't. It doesn't work. I've tested it. Once you once you get this to level 3, you take the points out and then max it to 50. And then the rest of my points, the next two, will be going into Blood Harvesting. I don't really care about Savagery too much. Sissy already attacks really fast. So, I mean, it's really up to you. Do you value Blood Harvesting? Do you value more damage? Totally up to you. You do what you want. I personally been using Blood Harvesting because Grandpa is actually more viable now in this patch. So that's what I'll be using today. All right. So that's the end of the build. Now, the only thing left to do is to play a couple matches and see how it goes. I'll see you guys in the games. Never ask All right. So we got ourselves a gas station map. We're going to see how it goes nighttime as well very nice <laughs> all right so they made noise points relatively low i think we can still collect blood and not have to worry about anything just yet i think still pretty good if johnny wants he could probably go downstairs and start causing some damage our leatherface already got a kill which is lovely and it's a connie no less well okay respect man respect 
I'm gonna feed Grandpa this blood here to get him to level one. That's good, ain't it? There, there. It, it's all right, Grandpa. There we go. I'm gonna come down here. Oh, Perfect. I poisoned her through the door. I didn't know you could do that. I figured like there would be collision, but apparently not. That's pretty cool. So now she's poisoned. She's actually taking damage right now, but it's an Ana, So guess what? It doesn't really mean anything. Ana's are damage sponges, man. Can't help it. There's no point to even chase them. So Johnny are doing work. I'll just do blood duty here. Poison the doors. It's pretty awesome though. Look at that. <laughs> Our leather face is doing a lot of work. That's awesome. Pretty awesome, man. Pretty awesome. Is there any blood bucket here? Yes, there is one over here. Gimme, gimme. This will get us to tier two, which is nice. The reason why I don't use other, uh, the reason why I don't use other perks, like, uh, when you hit people you get more blood, is that Probably Sissy already does do really good damage. Like, she attacks so fast, she gets blood one. quick. So, I really don't see any value in giving her something like Blood Siphon, I think it's called. Eh, don't quote me on it. But, uh, I'd rather just get a lot of blood from the buckets and then attack a lot. I think that's where Sissy's really strong. She can get a lot of blood very quickly. <laughs> this will help them see more clearly. <laughs> see if we can try and this will be simple. Oh, they got that gate open. That's unfortunate. Let's go try and stop them. Let them know that she has a valve handle. I think what I'm gonna do here, since we're already out here, I'm gonna see if I can collect enough blood to get a hundred and then give grandpa it. I think Johnny might have taken these buckets though. Alright, so he's screaming. That gives me a little bit more time. A lot of people don't go for this bucket, which is kind of a shame because I'm pretty sure it's a static spawn. I've never had a moment where that did not spawn. Oh, look, Leatherface cleaning house, man. I'm telling you, man, Leatherface is awesome. What's that crackly okay? noise? Did you guys hear that? That's weird. Hey, you can be really effective with blood, almost better than Cook. I mean, there is the downside of not having any padlocks, which is very unfortunate, but make up for it with speed and blood collecting and stuff. The valve is over here. And because I told our team, remember communication is very important. I've recently turned voice chat off though, mostly due to the fact that, you know, voice chat's gotten a little, little rough recently. I don't know. Oh, I have no poison. I need some more. Unfortunate. Kind of forgot I was too busy, too busy doing my rounds. I kind of forgot, but Razor just had it turned off and just use type, type voice chat, type chat. People can be very mean nowadays, you know, vo voice chat. <laughs> you can meet some cool people and then you can meet some not so cool people. Come on, go through a crack, go through a crack, go through a crack. You know you want to. Poisoner. Always good to poison them. You can see their aura so they can't hide from you. Yeah, I think she just gave up. I want to see if I can predict her going through this crack here. 
I did. Let's go. But I also missed because she has a lot some stamina on. Oh, you poor little thing. All right, let's see if we can catch up with her quick. She already lost a lot of blood. She got a major hit from. She's already moving. <laughs> Interesting. All right then. I guess she thought she could just run by me. All right. Oh, look, there's the valve handle. <laughs> That's interesting. People will die, they drop their items. That thing's huge as an item on the ground. Holy moly. It's kind of funny. Uh, all right, GG's on to the next match. All right, so we have a gas station back to back with instant grandpa awakening. That's how you know it's going to be real. All right, let's get to work. That's how you know it's gonna be real when they instantly wake grandpa up. I have a cook and a leather face, obviously. Who else is it gonna be, right? Still don't have enough points to get out, so what I'm going to do is grab this bucket here, save the other buckets. I'm gonna start poisoning the doors if I can. So I'm going to put one here. So when they come up the ladder, they get a lovely little, lovely little taste of that. I'm gonna come over here. Is there a bucket here? I could grab out on my way up. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Got him off of it. Look at that. That's good. The uh, looks like the Anna though has gotten out, which is unfortunate. So he got his lovely little batch of poison. I'm gonna grab this lovely little bucket because I don't really come over here often, so might as well use it, right? Feed Grandpa, and then keep rotating. You know that is there, so try and go for a valve play. Oh, That'll be very good. important. It's all right, Grandpa. Let's get this guy leveled up. I heard the cook hit somebody. Oh, Val, look at that. <laughs> this will help them see more clearly. <laughs> it's most likely a distraction. Can we get this in time? Uh, I guess uh, I can't save you after all. You gonna fall down well? No, she's not. Uh, I got some decent hits on her. I'm gonna chase her down a little bit. Run down basement. I have scout though, so if she tries to close this on me, it won't work. We'll just keep chasing her. Table here. Alright, now we leave her. We got a bunch of blood from her, and that's all we really need. Hey, victim poisoned with our cloud. They're really trying to get that. I am going to feed Grandpa as quickly as I can. Feed Grandpa. Are you okay, Grandpa? Here, drink this. They're really trying to go for it. There we go. Have a poison here? We sure do. I'm gonna go over there and put poison on that valve because they really are trying to rush it. They really are. I'm only gonna grab two. I don't have enough time to really grab all three. Time is so valuable and so important. I'm also going to poison Grandpa Perfect. in case they try to stab him. And help cook out. Help him out with They'll that. There you go, buddy. Oh, there's a Leland and a Julie. I'm not gonna chase the Leland. Julie's gonna be much more valuable. How does that feel? <laughs> there we go. See what I mean? Like, if you're really good at sissy and really fast, you can do stuff like that. Super good. Connie does have a thousand points, which means the door is for sure open. I am sorry. It's quite unfortunate, but what are you gonna do, right? 
I'm not gonna bother like looking that. for the door like at the moment. That. I want to feed Grandpa real quick. I like that. But this is what I like using Sissy I for. Like Sissy that. can protect Grandpa. Like, look, the poison just ran out. That's really awesome. Let's see if someone can come help me quick enough. Come on, I hear a cook, I hear a cook. Come on, cook, come on, cook. Yes. Oh, I love you, Grandpa. <laughs> they did stab him, unfortunately. We'll just take one. Cause that thing is open. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to catch him. Maybe not. I don't know. I think he's most likely running out. If he has his ability up, it's pretty much GG. Nothing we can do. Come on, you got a chainsaw sprint, man. Why are you not chainsaw sprinting? You got a chainsaw sprint. Nice, that's really good. He's incapacitated. I'm not gonna bother chasing him. We won't have enough time. So, what I'm gonna do, get some poison here. Hopefully we can get him. Connie got away, which is to be expected. I don't even get mad about it anymore. It's just pretty much, it's just the game at this point. It's a mechanic, it's a function. It is a gameplay feature. Stabbed him again. He's probably gonna go for the car, if I had to guess. Find unfortunate. I don't know why Cook's down here. Cook should stay up top. Please, if you play Cook, do not go to the basement. There's just no point for you down there. You have no reason to be in the basement. Good thing it's wildflower season. Uh, he's probably gonna get out. I'll, uh, I don't know, because I just don't know where he's at. He probably made it to car battery. Just in case he tries to go for this again, I will poison it. Don't be scared now. You have a higher purpose. I don't much enjoy being fired, I got no choice here. I wanted to see if he was gonna fall down that well. Oh, he just gave up. <laughs> well, he bled out. He took too much damage. There you go, bud. <laughs> Alright. Pretty good match. Pretty good match. That was very tough, but he just chose to bleed out. GG's. On to the next match. Alrighty. Here we are. Slaughterhouse. Let's have some fun. Boy, it took a very long time to get into a lobby to play. Like, I swear. Since crossplay's been enabled, I feel like my few times have been worse. I don't even know why. If you guys have the same problem, let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to hear as well. Since crossplay has been turned on, do you even have crossplay on? And if you do, how have your key times been? I've been in matches where I literally could not get a single uh, family player. Like I'd be sitting there for like a minute and 30 seconds, two minutes, literally not a single person. I'd be sitting there. I, I would, I, I'd literally just be there just sitting with the victims, full victim lobby. And just me as killer. Oh. I think our Leatherface uh, killed Julie. If so, that's nice. Let's go feed Grandpa real quick. -y. Oh, wait a minute. Let's poison this real quick. Haha. -ha. Get some decent value out of it. There's usually a spawn here, too. Yeah, right here. All right. So we was able to feed Grandpa before that they could actually wake him up and break a lock. So that's pretty nice. Let's get some more poison here. Yeah, two. Lovely. Let's see, where is anything good around here? Kinda looking for the valve. Nice, that's great. Level two. Really quick. I'll poison this too. Like, who wouldn't want to take that, right? 
Can't find any of the valves for some reason. Must be on the building over there. Since I'm here, I'm going to poison this. They're gonna love this. <laughs> hey. Might as well go feed grandpa again, why not? Uh, feed this, and then I need to check some doors real quick. Hmm. I'm gonna go get some poison over here. Oh. Oh. There's nothing I can literally do here. Oh, sugar. Does that hurt? <laughs> Maybe I can stop this in time. Nice. Ooh, she got a little bit greedy. I know she's going to come back to it. I don't think I have any pestles up here, do I? No. It's really unfortunate because I need poison. Let's see if I can feed Grandpa real quick. If we can get this guy to at least level 5, this will help us a lot. There's Connie. He's just gonna run up. Need to get some poison quickly. No poison there. My man. Okay, Cook is protecting that. That's nice. Nice, you got the kill. Alright, there's the other one. Go, Bubba, go! <laughs> I swear, I don't know if it's just a victim thing or what. Why do people DC before they die so that people don't get the kill? That is sweaty, man. All right, everybody, that is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the matches as well as the build. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments below as well as let me know what you guys think about the upcoming DLC prices. Do you think $18 for a premium skin is worth the money? Let me know down in the comments below. would love to hear what you guys think about it. Also, let me know what you guys think about uh, separate characters costing $10. Do you guys think that's too much, too little, or just right? 
I would love to hear what you guys think because I like hearing people's thoughts on this, you know, as well as to see where the community kind of looks at it, how everybody looks at it as a whole. I love hearing uh, people's opinions on this kind of stuff. But anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, as always, stay cool, and I will see all you lovely people in the next video. Bye-bye.